suppose this is the most remarkable bit of training you're going to get out in four sections. The rest of it, you know, makes total sense, but this is the kind of eye opener. This is why, you know, acting now is super important. If the simple fact is that you've got close to zero competition in, you know, in YouTube and with video generally, um, either your competition is not using video at all and not using YouTube at all, or they're using it and not using it properly. Either way, this is an opportunity for you that won't be there in a month or a week or a year whenever your competition wakes up. And it's not just that, it's about the kind of content you need to create to embed yourself in great positions. So therefore your competition can't walk in and take away from you. We've already talked about you know, YouTube being the fastest way onto Google, but also the power of YouTube on its own. We've also talked about you know, um, you know, video first strategy, not video only. The fact that you know video is fast, easy, but most importantly, leverageable content. And in terms of the training we do, you know, really what we're, we focus on is getting your videos onto number one on YouTube. Simple as that. Certainly, page number one, and usually number one, two, or three ranking on YouTube. Um, done properly, this is very straightforward, and very structured. But from that, that's the fastest way to page one on Google. But it's really, as we're going to talk about here, is but knowing the right kind of content to create for your exact audience, the exact audience you're looking for. Then how you create the content, how you leverage the content way beyond YouTube and, 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 and videos we talked about in the last um, um, training, and also how you can do this efficiently and effectively in less than one hour a week, and all the time pushing the competitors away from these you know, coveted positions. And it's incredible that we're still talking about this, you know, you know 15 years after you know, um, Google bought YouTube, um, and I don't know when YouTube was actually founded, but you know, 15 years later, the fact that tech firms are still not you know, um, the fact that you know YouTube is still not um, um, a mature environment for tech firms to reach out to to create content on is just just incredible. So, what content to create? Well, the answer is very simple. You know, first of all, what to create and how to create it. But your goal is really very very simple. What you're trying to do is not you know be super polished. You're not trying to be you know a, an actor. You're not trying to be Hollywood style. You're just positioning yourself and your team as the expert in your space. You know, um, we'll talk about some techniques as to how you do that, but really this is just about you being you. You know, you've spent so much time, you know, addressing the, the, the problem that your technology solves that you are deep, deep, deep experts, probably one of the leading experts in the world in the, the niche that you've focused on. So all we're doing here is taking video and using video to, to, to demonstrate that to the audience so that they can understand that they, 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 they now know you, they like what you're saying, and they trust the depth of expertise and your ability to deliver on it. So, it's, and then the next question is, you know, what content? We get asked this all the time, is what content do we need to prepare? And, you know, typically with the client, we'll sit down once a month and we'll actually map out the content they need to be creating. And, I, and I also how they're going to do that, but what is the content? But the answer is staring you in the face, in the face already, because if you just go onto Google and start, you know, searching in, you know, searching for a, a phrase. What will happen is that Google will search, well, Google will prompt you to look at other phrases which uh, people are searching for. So in this example, you know, what is Google Prism? You know, what's Google Prism RPA? What's it used for software? So if you're creating content around those search words and you know that there's not enough, not much competition, that is the kind of content you need to be creating. So, um, but anyway, the, the key message here is that Google is already telling you the answer to the content you need to be creating. When you dig deeper and you dig deeper, and you create content for each of these niches, each of the questions that are relevant to the audience. So not all of this these suggestions are going to be right for, 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 for your content, but it's going to be enough in there to start you going, get you, get you going. And then what you do is you take the, the phrase that you like, and then you search for it again and again. Google's going to give you um, even more suggestions on the content to create. So, you, so that was how you, that, that's I mean, that's very simple. You know how you find the content. You can go to YouTube, do exactly the same thing. But really, what you're creating is, you know, you know, you're, as I said earlier, you're positioning yourself as the world expert. You're just revealing, you know, your depth of knowledge. You've got the story. Your clients get the stories. And once you start to bring in partners and you know, and you know, talk about what they bring to the to the equation, you suddenly get you in the sense of a, a niche whereby you're not just talking about your experience and your knowledge. You're actually talking about the problems you know your clients have faced. You're talking about how um, you know other partnerships, other models can help you know augment this, what they are, help address problems. 
which your clients are facing. So it's not just about, it's certainly not a sales process. It's certainly not you talking about selling your product at all. It's very much you digging deeper into the business problems they're facing and the options they have to address them and how they can help sort of start to take the steps to, to move from the, where they are with the problem to having it um, solved. So that's, you know, what is the content? That's how you create it. And um, in the last video, this is really important to understand is that it's almost like a why now question is that if you understand what's happening in, with, with Google, then you'll understand why it's very, very important you act very quickly to embed your content in the right position on YouTube and Google, because once you've got that, then it self perpetuates. And we'll talk about that in the next video. Any questions, just reach out to me directly and I'll answer them by email.